Hey there, I uh, just got off the phone with an investor this morning and I wanted to sort of create a video based on that, uh, that discussion. And it really goes back to the fact that we're in a seller's market today, right? Seller's markets are where we have low inventory, general price um, increases and, and lots of competition, both from investors and, and first time home buyers. These markets are really, really hard for new investors, especially ones just trying to get started. And especially ones who have full-time jobs because their, their time available to, to do the work is difficult. So I wanted to talk about that. First, um, you know, you need to stay positive. You need to stay engaged. You need to, you need to keep looking. Yes, it's very hard. Uh, the good news is if you can figure out a way to put a couple of deals together in a market like this, every other market will be easy for you. These are the markets that you might make 20 offers before you even get a nibble. Um, I, for one, the last month have probably put out 50 offers on properties that would make sense given my model and, and numbers that I'd be comfortable with. I think I've got five or six sort of counter offers, which means to me that we're, we're kind of close. Uh, but I have nothing in escrow today. Um, I'm used to that. I'm, I'm comfortable with that and, and, and willing to put in the work. A lot of the new investors I speak with are like, you know, I've made five offers and I'm outbid or no one's returning or no one's countering, you know, five's nothing, right? It's going to take time. And, you know, if you're investing around in, in other markets, you know, my recommendation for you is to, to find in, find somebody that you could sort of talk to and stay positive. It, that's the most important thing is you got to stay positive in a seller's market. you got to keep working. Because when you finally get one that works, you're going to feel great. And again, if you can work and succeed in a market like this, uh, you can do it in any market. I got to talk about some things I saw in the past. So I saw some investors, you know, give it an honest effort for a month, six weeks. And then either they just drop out or probably worse, they start raising their offers and, 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 and turning what should have been a solid deal into what I've always called an alligator, right? And, and an alligator is one of those properties that takes, you know, it's only 50 bucks a month. It only costs me $100. I got to tell you, that's the wrong attitude. Even if you can afford it, even if you can afford five of them, your portfolio will never grow big enough to be financially free if the only thing you do is fill it with alligators. Do the work, find the deals, or simply put more down. Right? Instead of putting 20% down because the bank's going to give you 80%, put 40% down. I would rather have you overpay and put more down so you don't have an alligator than to overpay and put 20% down. Anytime you have negative cash flow, it's never a good idea. You're just guaranteeing your future success is going to be limited because you can't go forever losing money. Right? It just it doesn't work. So... If you are choosing to invest in the market that I'm working in, in Fresno, you live in the Silicon Valley and you want to, you know, you work full time, I suggest reaching out because we're going to, we're going to interview and we're going to talk and we're going to see what makes sense for you. And I'm willing to do the work, right? I'm still up every morning at six o'clock, uh, you know, putting in two to three hours of, of, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in the market, looking at listings, looking at new listings, looking at old listings to try to find the deals that make sense. Right? I'm rebuilding my knowledge of what's going on day after day, which is going to give me a leg up. It's going to allow me to do the hard work for you. So when I find something, I'll send it to you or send it to others and, and say, hey, this one might seem to, to meet your criteria. Uh, it doesn't mean it's going to work by any stretch, but at least you have somebody that's doing the work for you because working full time in the Silicon Valley is hard. Right, Working full time is, is hard enough. And if you're going to invest in the Fresno market in the Central Valley, I'm going to do the work for you where it makes sense. It's ultimately going to be your decision. Uh, but in the end, that's what good partnerships are, and that's what we do. All right, have fun. I'm off to the gym.